welcome to Cape Chronicle. I'm Alex Gasser, here to share, share how Leadership Cape program is strengthening the local economy is Vice President of Programs and Leadership Development, Whitney Quick. Whitney, welcome. Thank you. Yeah, so tell us about Leadership Cape and what the Leadership Cape program is. So Leadership Cape has been a part of Cape Girardeau since 1985. We took a little bit of a break and then came back um, and it has been a very strong program in this town um, since. So this is something that anybody in our region can take advantage of. You can apply online. Um, every year we open it up and we have new classes that come through and it's a great way to understand your community. So um, as you know, because you've done the Leadership Cape program, yes. <laughs> um, you get to see aspects of Cape Girardeau that you typically wouldn't get to see otherwise unless you worked in those areas. So for instance, uh, the water treatment facility, that was someplace I had never been. Um, I'm not sure the general public would necessarily visit that. Um, also, you get to see you know, some of the behind the scenes with um, different companies that we have in the area, such as P&G, um, Havco, Bootsy. Like, these are really neat things that are making Cape Girardeau work. So you get a behind the scenes look at those things as well as education. So we've got education options for, um, you get to see the education options for kids as well as adults. Um, you get to tour SEMO, some of our schools that we have, Cape Central, CTC. Um, it's just a really neat way to experience Cape Girardeau. And then on top of that, learning how to work in groups of people, um, which I'm sure you enjoyed the most. Yes. <laughs> and um, also, you know, learning a bit about yourself. So how your leadership skills work and how you best work in a group and how to work in a group. And sometimes, you know, that's the first thing that some of these people have never done before because they, you know, maybe they work for themselves and they get to work in a group setting and come up with projects. And so it really is a very valuable program that Cape Chamber offers. Um, and we do have that available March through October. Awesome. So if people are interested, is there an application deadline for folks to apply for Absolutely. this year? So um, our application deadline is January 31st, and we will be accepting 25 applicants to this program. We have made it a little bit smaller because we have found out over the last few years that our participants get more out of it um, whenever we do have smaller groups and we are able to work more closely together. Um, it's also a really neat opportunity to get to meet other professionals in Cape Girardeau that you may have not met before. Um, I know a lot of people in Cape Girardeau and I still managed to meet a ton of new people whenever I went through the Leadership Cape program. So that's something great that you can find out. Um, also, just knowing Cape, getting to see how Cape runs. So we do, you know, the fire department and the police department, and those are also really cool things that um, you could go if you, you know, made an appointment with these places to go and see, but uh, we take you a little bit deeper in those so that you have an understanding of how we work in this town. I'm gonna say I did the ride along programs for both the fire department and police department and that was one of my favorite experiences. And so that was a really cool aspect of the program for sure. <laughs> Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I did the police ride along and I go to bed really early and I think I stayed out past midnight that night and I loved every second of it. Yes. Um, and how does this kind of fit into what the Cape Chamber does overall in the community? Because um, so, I know you've got some big strategic planning yes, going yes. on. Yes. Um, so we will do this to, you know, kind of get... Um, organizations, future leaders ready to be leaders. And that's gonna help the Cape Girardeau economy because then we've got people who are ready to lead their organizations forward. Also maybe having an opportunity to see what other organizations in Cape are doing and get some ideas from that. Um, especially smaller organizations, I really feel like this is something beneficial to them because we you know, see how massive operations work like the hospitals. and. Um, 
uh, PNG, and again, things like that level to where um, people can get in there, get ideas, network with each other, um, learn some key skills and professionalism, as well as you know more things about themselves. As I said before, we do uh, group settings so they learn how to work with people and really just helping getting our future leaders ready to lead. Awesome. And I know you've got some new programs that are kind of coming up here as well, or some other programs you want to highlight. Do you want Absolutely. to share those as well? So another thing that we're working on, especially for our people like you who have gone through <laughs> Leadership Cape, is a Leadership Cape 2.0 that will be specifically for mid-level who are getting ready to enter into senior level. Um, and that's something that we are currently working on with a committee of past Leadership Cape participants and um, as well as working with other organizations and businesses within the community. We also have a ton of new programming this year uh, with our women's networking events. We have um, our signature event with that is Women in Business at the Heart of It All, a celebration for National Business Women's Day. That's going to be September 20th. We have Maxine Clark from Build-A-Bear, and we have Jennifer Polk from Feeding America. So it's going to be amazing. Um, we also restarted our Young Professionals group, and we're going to have our YPC Summit on April 26th. So if you have any questions about that, check out our website, go to our calendar. Uh, we are constantly updating our calendar. Awesome. Um, for the young professionals, is that what's, I know there's kind of an age group there. What is, do you mind sharing what sure. that age group is? Because I think some people are like, I'm young, but I don't know if I'm right. that young. So, <laughs> And I may be too old for this and you probably aren't. So we have it open for 18 to 40 year olds. Okay. So um, a pretty big area. But again, some people may just be starting their careers at you know late 20s, early 30s. So um, a young professional can come in at any point under 40 to our young professional of Cape area is what we're calling it now. And um, again, our summit's gonna be April 26th and we have a great lineup of speakers that we're working on and it should be really exciting. I'm going to say that was one of the things I also really enjoyed about Leadership Cape was just the multi-generations of people that were in the program with me to learn from um, the, the backgrounds of people. That was really exciting. And I truly have made friends that I know that I will have for a lifetime from that program, which is really cool that I don't know if you get that experience as an adult <laughs> in right, many other right. programs. Um, so that's a, a really cool experience, I feel like. Um, are there any other programs or anything else you wanna highlight um, coming um, up with the Chamber? Another thing that we did last year was our SEEDS conference, and that was with, we partnered with SEMO, um, the Harrison Business College, um, and we did our Southeast Economic Development Symposium. Um, we did that for the first time at Drury. We're going to do that again this year, so look out for more information. Again, go to our website at capechamber.com. Um, but we've got exciting things coming up. Our annual dinner on March 22nd, and, um, you know, just a lot to look forward to. Awesome. Thanks again, Whitney. Thank you for joining us today for Cape Chronicle. The program is a collaboration around the Department of Mass Media at Southeast Missouri State University, the City of Cape Girardeau, and River Radio. Our executive producer is Anthony Schreer, Schreer and in Eun Jong Lee, and I'm Alex Gasser. Thanks for watching.